Hi, this is Daniel DeTuro. Are your measuring cups and spoons accurate? In this video, I'll share why accurate measurements are important, the accuracy of dry and wet measuring cups and measuring spoons. While a majority of my cooking video comments are positive, there have been a few reported failures. When only a few viewers out of thousands report a failure, I wonder what could have gone wrong. Cooking and baking involves many variables. One important variable is accurately measuring ingredients. Most people take for granted that all measuring cups and spoons are accurate. Some can be off by 10% or more. In most countries, dry ingredients are measured by weight. Metric scales can be accurate to within plus or minus one gram. By comparison, imperial unit kitchen scales are accurate to within plus or minus one eighth or one tenth of an ounce. In the US, most cooks measure dry ingredients by volume. Dry ingredients are always measured level with the top of the spoon or cup. So the correct way to measure dry ingredients is to level it with the top of the cup or spoon. Since dry cups measure volume, not weight, every ingredient has a different weight. For ingredients like flour, the weight varies based on the type of flour and whether it is sifted or unsifted. For this brand of flour, one quarter cup weighs 30 grams. One quarter cup of this flour weighs 36 grams. One quarter cup of this pastry flour weighs 34 grams. Brown sugar, whether measured by cup or spoon, is always measured packed. One cup of packed brown sugar weighs about 210 grams. One cup of unpacked brown sugar weighs about 160 grams, or 25% less. So what do you do if the recipe calls for one and one eight cups of an ingredient and your smallest cup size is one quarter cup? You can estimate one eighth cup or use two tablespoons since two tablespoons equals one eighth cup. To confuse matters, U.S. measuring spoons are based on liquid units, not dry units. Some sets of measuring spoons mark the metric equivalent on each spoon. So 16 tablespoons should equal one wet cup, not dry cup. When a recipe calls for one cup plus two tablespoons of flour, it's mixing dry and wet measurements. But since the recipe was tested using those measurements, you can assume they are accurate. Unfortunately, there is no easy way to check the accuracy of dry measuring cups. If you own a kitchen scale, you can check the weight of flour or sugar against the nutrition information weight. Wet measuring cup accuracy can also mean the difference between success and failure. Here are two one cup measuring cups. One holds 10% more liquid than the other. An accurate cup should hold about 237 grams of water. This cup holds 257 grams of water. Why? Although the cups are almost identical, the markings on one cup are higher than the other. Even the one quarter cup marking provides more liquid than the other cup. Instead of eight fluid ounces of liquid, this cup holds about 8.8 .8 fluid ounces. For a recipe like oatmeal, adding 10% more water can mean the difference between thick and runny. If you own a kitchen scale, you can check the accuracy of any measuring cup. 
Sets of measuring spoons usually range from one tablespoon to one eighth teaspoon. Measuring spoons can also be used for wet measurements beyond one tablespoon. The difficulty comes if you need one third or two thirds cup. Checking the accuracy of one tablespoon is simple if you own a kitchen scale. Four tablespoons of water equals one quarter cup or 59 grams. 12 teaspoons of water should also equal one quarter cup. If your teaspoon and tablespoon are accurate, you can assume the other sizes are also accurate. To check the accuracy of your measuring cups and spoons requires investing in an accurate kitchen scale. With a kitchen scale, it doesn't matter if ingredients are packed or sifted. The weight never changes. Please leave a comment if you have any questions about this video. Thank you for watching and healthy eating.